Hello, I'm Kitty, Wildcat26 on the Fairheart forums, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make terrain masks for your custom maps in Fairheart in GIMP. Now, first thing I'm going to show you is a picture of your typical terrain mask. As you can see, it is in uh, three colors, pure red, green, and blue. Terrain masks allow you to uh, change the textures in your maps to uh, instead of just one texture. You can have up to three textures per mask, hence the three colors. Fairheart allows up to six textures, but currently there is a glitch with the second mask that makes the textures glow all funny and it just looks strange and uh, ho hopefully this glitch will be fixed soon, but for now I'm just going to show you how to make a uh, three texture mask. Now this one is a mask for my public map, Forgotten Desert, as you can see. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to go to GIMP, and I already have it open since it usually takes forever to load on my computer. So we're going to, once you open GIMP, we're going to click File, Open, and what we're going to do is go to C, Feral Heart, Media, and Terrains, and we're going to go look for our map that we want to make our mask for. Now, this is personally the way I find it easiest to make masks. There are you can do it other ways, but this is probably the uh, simplest way I found how to do it. And we're going to be using Tutorial Map. So we're going to open that, and we're going to open our Height Map. Okay, now that we have this open, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new file. So click New, 513 by 513 pixels keep saying that guys. Everything in this game as far as uh, height maps and terrain masks, it's 513 pixels. Don't forget it. And we're going to make sure color space is RGB color. And we're going to click OK. Now, we have the second window. Now what we're going to do in order to be able to see where we're putting which colors to the mask for which areas are going to be which textures, what we're going to do is we're going to go to select all on our height map and click edit and copy. Now, on the canvas that you're making your mask on, the first thing you want to do is if you don't have uh, your layers window up, you need to go to windows and go to dockable dialogues and click layers. Okay, once you've done that, move that over here so you can see it good. Once you've done that, we have our background layer right here. What we're going to want to do is add a new layer, 513, and it really doesn't matter which fill type you choose. I'll just go with transparency. So, new layer. And what we're going to do is on our new layer, we're going to make sure you click on the new layer and we're going to go to edit and click paste. Now, this is going to put a picture of our height map over top our background. And what we're going to do is, where it says the floating layer selection, pasted layer, what we're going to do is this, this little button right here that says anchor floating layer. You need to click that. Now, we're going to go to our new layer, the one that has a picture of a height mask, height map, and we're going to turn the transparency down. I usually turn it about 80s good. Uh, we're going to go to our background now. Make sure you click on your background 
here over here on your layers because that's the one you want to draw on. You do not want to draw on the layer you made. You want to draw on the background. And what we're going to do is, hold on, I need to erase this. I actually put a little paint mark on there. Yeah, there we go. All right. So on our background, we're going to make sure we're clicked on it. We're going to click. What I usually do is start out with your fill bucket. Pick your color, which the first color you use is pure red, which if you don't know the uh, RGB code for that, pure red is R is red, G is green, B is blue, and you want red highest it can be, which is 255. That's your pure red. You're going to hit OK, and you're going to fill your background with your red select it and there now it's filled with red if you take this off you can see it's all red that's going to be the the place where your first terrain of your mask is going to show up now the second terrain texture is going to be pure green now pure green is 255 and the green and zero on the other two. So it's going to be 255 only in the green and we're going to hit OK. Now, we're going to switch to a brush and uh, choose a good brush for it. Circle. This looks good. And what we're going to do is let's say we want where our water, our river, and our pond is going to be, we want that a different color. So what we're going to do is color that in and you want to go slightly past the edge of whatever area you're coloring. That way when you blend it in it's not going it's going to cover the whole area you want and not come up where it doesn't go outside of the area. It just makes it um hmm, what's the word? It gives you better coverage instead of it being like right inside the pond. You, if you want your texture to cover the entire area, because once you blend it, it's going to bring it back some. So let's see. Hold on. Do that. Make my brush a little bit smaller. Here, like that. Here we go. So yeah, going slightly past the edge will make sure you get good coverage on your texture of whatever area you're coloring. around here that. get a little bit more right here. Right here you can see where I missed some of the edge of the river here. Alright, lights. Okay, like that. And then uh, let's see, maybe we'll make these hills right here, we're going to make them be uh, a different texture. So we're going to use this on it. This is your, your second texture is your green. I'm gonna do this. And now, your last texture, your third texture, is going to be pure blue. Pure, bu pure blue is 255 under the B, your blue bar. And we're going to hit OK. And then we're going to color in what we want for our third texture. Now you can use it just to make patterns in the ground, besides, uh, you know, giving a hill or a river bed a different texture. So, say you wanted... Uh, I don't know, a ring, a circle around like this, like that. Or you wanted, uh, let me get a little bit smaller here, wanted a path, like you see right here. I'm going to do that. Now let's see. I'm going to make this right here a different color too. 
and do that. And then let's make this middle part colored too. Alright, now that we've done that, 